Learn with Peppa Pig, Peppa and You. Today we're going to learn about Peppa and what makes her unique. We're all unique. That means there is no one else exactly like us. Isn't that great? Yippee! <laughs> This is Pepper. Hello, Pepper. Shall we find out what makes Pepper unique? Let's go. Look, Pepper is drawing a picture of herself. When we draw a picture of ourselves, it's called a self portrait. She lives in a house with Mummy and Daddy Pig and her little brother George. Peppa goes to a playgroup with her friends, and Madame Gazelle is her teacher. These are all things that make Peppa unique. There are lots of other things that make Peppa unique. Shall we find out what some of those things are? <laughs> Peppa loves doing lots of different things. She likes playing Happy Mrs. Chicken on the computer. She enjoys riding her bicycle. Whee! Whee! She loves eating spaghetti. She likes reading. There are so many great books to choose from. And she especially loves jumping in muddy puddles. Her best friend is Susie Sheep. She has a pet fish called Goldie. Her favourite toy is Teddy. These are all things that make Pepper unique. Yippee! <laughs> you are also unique. Can you think of some things that make you different from everyone else? Shall we look together? How old are you? Do you go to a playgroup or to a school? Maybe you have a teacher like Madame Gazelle. There are lots of things that Pepper enjoys. Can you think of some things that you like doing? What do you like to watch on the television? What food do you like to eat? Pepper loves to jump in muddy puddles. Is there something you particularly love to do? What toys do you like playing with? Perhaps you have a special book you like to read. Maybe you have a pet or a best friend. Look, there are so many things that make you unique as well. Isn't that fantastic? Well done. You've just learned about what makes Pepper and you unique. That's amazing! Learn with Peppa Pig. Technology. Today we're going to learn about technology and how Yippee! it works. <laughs> there are lots of different types of technology. Televisions, computers, phones, and even some of our toys. Shall we find out more about them? <laughs> Great, let's go! Technology uses electricity or batteries to work. Look, there's the plug and there's the socket. In it goes. Electricity comes from the socket so the television will work. We should never touch a socket. And we should always ask a grown-up to plug things in for us. Some technology uses batteries instead of a plug. Batteries make electricity, so the toy can work. If we don't have electricity or batteries, technology won't work. Look, Pepper and George are dancing to some music. Daddy Pig is vacuuming, and Mummy Pig is working on her computer. Oh, the lights have gone out. Pepper and George's music has stopped. Daddy Pig's vacuum cleaner won't work, and Mummy Pig's computer has switched off. There has been a power cut. There is no electricity. Electricity is what makes the technology in Peppa's house work. Shall we have a look at some different types of technology? 
right. <laughs> Susie Sheep is watching Mr. Potato on the television. Television is a type of technology. We watch our favorite shows on a television. Look, wow. Pepper and her family are on the television. Hello, Pepper. Perhaps you have a favorite show you like to watch on television. <laughs> Let's look at some other types of technology. <laughs> Mummy Pig is working on her computer at home. A computer is also a type of technology. We use a computer to work on. We might also use a computer to play games on. Pepper and George love playing Happy Mrs. Chicken on Mummy Pig's computer. We should always ask a grown-up, though, before we use their computer. Ew. Look, Pepper and George are playing their favourite game on a tablet now. A tablet is also a type of technology. It's a small computer that we can carry around with us. Perhaps you've used one before. Today, George is shopping for a new dinosaur. Hello, Dino Roar! Roar! Look at that! Dino Roar walks and talks. A toy like Dino Roar can also be a type of technology. Oh dear, oh. Dino Roar has run out of battery. The batteries inside Dino Roar are what makes him work. Look, George's other dinosaur doesn't have batteries inside. So he's not a type of technology. He's just a lovely toy. Uh -oh. oh dear, dinner is burnt. But not to worry, Daddy Pig is ordering a takeaway on his mobile phone. A phone is also a type of technology. We can use a phone for lots of things. We can phone our family and friends and speak to them. We can make a video call and see them too. We can take a picture, play a game, and we can even use our phone to pay for things. Well done! That was some great learning. You learned that technology works by using electricity or batteries. You also learned about different types of technology, including a television, a computer, a tablet, some toys, and a mobile phone. Have you seen some of these types of technology around your home? Why don't you have a look and see how many you can find? That's amazing! Learn with Peppa Pig. Safety. Today we're going to learn about different ways we can stay safe. It's important to stay safe so we don't get hurt. Shall we start? <laughs> <laughs> Police Officer Panda is teaching Pepper and her friends how to cross the road safely. When we cross the road, we should always be with a grown-up. Before crossing the road, we should stop, look, listen and always wait for the green man. What should we remember when crossing the road? Stop, look and listen. All clear, no cars. That's right. We should stop, look and listen. It's all clear. There are no cars and it's safe to cross now. Pepper and her friends have crossed the road safely. <laughs> you should also be careful at home when things might be hot, sharp or fragile and break easily. Pepper and her family are making pizzas in the kitchen. Mmm, they do look yummy. Look, Mummy Pig is wearing oven gloves to put the pizzas into the oven. The oven is hot, so we should be very careful. Daddy Pig's barbecue is also hot. Fire can burn us. Take care, Daddy Pig. Oh dear. Miss Rabbit to the rescue. Thank you, Mummy Firefighters. There are other things we should also be careful of at home. In the kitchen, we might use a knife for chopping or cutting up food. It's very sharp, so you should let a grown-up do it for you. Yippee! <laughs> Sometimes we can wear special safety clothes to help us stay safe. 
Peppa and George are fishing with Grandpa Pig on his boat. Oh, Peppa's caught a boot. Peppa, George and Grandpa Pig are wearing bright yellow life jackets. Look, can you see? A life jacket keeps us safe when we're on a boat, so it's important to wear one. Shall we see what else we might wear to keep us safe around water? Look, Peppa and her family are at the swimming pool. Peppa and George wear armbands in the swimming pool to help them float and stay safe. We wear armbands when we're learning to swim. Let's have a look at some of the other places where we might wear different things to help us stay safe. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are learning to ride their bikes. They wear helmets on their heads to keep them safe in case they fall off. Look, it's Mr. Bull. Mr. Bull is a construction worker. He wears a hard hat and a bright yellow vest to keep him safe and seen at work. Mummy Pig and Miss Rabbit wear special yellow uniforms to keep them safe from fire. Fire can burn, so it's important for them to protect themselves. Yippee! <laughs> Ooh, look, Madame Gazelle is hosting a game. Shall we play our own game? Fantastic, let's go! What should we wear when we're learning to swim? to help us float and stay safe. That's right, armbands. What should we do before we cross the road? We should stop, look and listen and wait for the green man. What should grown-ups wear when taking things out of the oven? That's right again. They should wear oven gloves to protect their hands. Remember, only grown-ups should take things out of the oven. What should we wear when we ride on a boat? Yes, a life jacket. And what should we wear on our heads when riding a bike? Well done! A helmet to protect our heads! You've just learned about some of the different ways we can stay safe and some of the safety clothes that we might wear to protect us. Learn with Peppa Pig, fruits and vegetables. Today, we're going to learn about fruits and vegetables. Peppa and her friends love eating fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are very good for us. There are lots of different fruits and vegetables. Shall we find out about some of them? <laughs> Great! Peppa and George are helping Grandpa Pig in his garden. Grandpa Pig is growing lots of different fruits and vegetables. Look, apple trees. Oh, a lovely red apple. Apples grow on trees, but not all fruit does. Other fruit might grow from plants, like strawberries or tomatoes. Tomatoes are also a fruit. I'll help you, George. Look, a carrot. One, two, three, pull! Some vegetables, like carrots, grow underground. Where do fruits and vegetables grow? That's right, on trees, plants or underground. Shall we have a look at some different types of fruits and vegetables? Yippee! Great! <laughs> Peppa and her friends are choosing their favourite fruit. There are lots to choose from. Peppa's favourite fruit is an apple. An apple is round and crunchy and can be red or green. Susie Sheep's favourite fruit is an orange. An orange is round and juicy and the colour orange. You have to peel an orange before you eat it. Emily Elephant's favourite fruit is a banana. A banana is long and yellow and soft to eat. You also have to peel a banana to eat it. I wonder what George's favourite fruit is. A strawberry. Strawberries are small, red and sweet to eat. You can mix different fruits together to make a delicious smoothie. Mm. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, look, baby Alexander is eating broccoli. Baby Alexander loves broccoli. Broccoli is a vegetable. These stools look like little trees. They're broccoli. <laughs> look, here is some broccoli growing in Grandpa Pig's garden. Broccoli is green and looks a little bit like a tiny tree. Shall we see what else Grandpa Pig is growing? Found one! Some lettuce. That's a big one. Lettuce is green and round with lots of leaves. Some carrots. Carrots are long and orange with green tops. Oh look, Pepper and George have found another orange vegetable. Do you know what this is? It's a pumpkin. A pumpkin is large, round and orange. These are just a few vegetables. There are lots of different ones to try. <laughs> oh look, it's Mr Potato and he's playing a game about fruits and vegetables. Shall we join in? What is a strawberry, fruit or vegetable? That's right, a strawberry is a fruit. What is a carrot? Fruit or vegetable? Well done! A carrot is a vegetable! What is a banana? Fruit or vegetable? Right again! A banana is a fruit! What is a lettuce? Fruit or vegetable? Correct! A lettuce is a vegetable! And what is an orange, fruit or vegetable? That's right again! An orange is a fruit! Well done! And now for a special bonus question! Which fruit is round, can be red or green, and grows on a tree? Hmm. That's right! An apple! Great work! Well done! You've just learned about different types of fruits and vegetables and how some of them grow. What's your favourite fruit and vegetable? Why don't you try something new? <laughs> That's amazing! Learn with Peppa Pig, a family of words. Today we're going to learn about word families. Word families are groups of words that have the same root or base letters in them. There are lots of different word families. Shall we have a look at some of them? Great! Let's go! Let's look at our first word family, at. At is the base of this word family. Now, let's find some words that belong to the at word family. Pepper and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. Oh, look, Granny Pig is wearing a lovely hat. Look, hat is part of the at word family. If we add h to the base letters at, we get the word hat. Let's see what else belongs to the at word family. Pepper and her friends are playing with a bat and ball. Your turn, Susie Sheep. Susie Sheep is holding the bat. Look, bat is also part of the at word family. Hat and bat are both part of the at word family. Well done. You've just learned your first word family. Let's have a look at another one. Yippee! <laughs> Our next word family is in. In is the base of this word family. Oh, Daddy Pig is changing Baby Alexander's nappy. First, we have to take off the dirty nappy and put it in the bin. Let's look at this word, bin. Bin is part of the in word family. If we add b to in, we get the word bin. Let's find another word that's part of the in word family. Pepper and her friends are at the bowling alley. Woohoo! A super strike for a super bowler! Look, this is a bowling pin. Pin is also part of the in word family. If we add p 
to the base letters in, we get the word pin. Bin and pin are both part of the in word family. Well done. Yippee! <laughs> Another word family is it. Let's find some words that belong to this word family. Daddy Pig is doing the washing. What a nice clean football kit. Kit is part of the it word family. If we add k to it, we get the word kit. Let's find another word that belongs to the it word family. Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit are playing in the sand pit. Broom, broom. Pit is also part of the it word family. If we add p to the base letters it, we get the word pit. Kit and pit are both part of the it word family. Excellent! Yippee! <laughs> Our last word family is ot. Ot is the base of this word family. Now let's find some words that belong to this word family. Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George his greenhouse. Ooh, that plant smells lovely in that flower pot. Pot is part of the ot word family. If we add p to ot, we get the word pot. What else might be part of the ot word family? Let's see. Baby Alexander is going to sleep in his cot. Cot is also part of the ot word family. If we add k to the base letters ot, we get the word cot. Pot and cot both belong to the ot word family. Great work! Oh, look, <laughs> Madame Gazelle is hosting a game. Let's have our own game. Are you ready? Yippee! Let's go! <laughs> Can you find two words that belong to the ot word family? Good work! Cot and pot both belong to the ot word family. Which two words belong to the at word family? That's right! Hat and bat belong to the at word family. And which two words belong to the in word family? Right again! Bin and pin both belong to the in word family. Yippee! Great work! You've just learned about the at, in, it and ot word families. Why don't you try and think of some others? Yeah. Have fun! <laughs> Learn with Peppa Pig, answering questions. Today we're going to learn about answering questions about a story. We'll tell a story with Peppa and then answer some questions about what's going on in the story. <laughs> Are you ready to begin? <laughs> Peppa is going on an adventure today. What a lovely day! Are you ready for our first question? Who is Peppa going on an adventure with? That's right, Pepper is going on an adventure with her family and Rebecca Rabbit. Well done! Let's continue with Pepper's adventure and see what happens next. I wonder where Pepper, her family and Rebecca Rabbit are going? Look, they've arrived! Do you know where Pepper is? That's right, Pepper is at the petting farm. You've just told us where Peppa is. Good work! Peppa, George and Rebecca Rabbit are going to visit some of the animals with Mrs Badger. But first, they have to wash their hands. Do you know why? Shall we find out? Why are Peppa, George and Rebecca Rabbit washing their hands? That's right! To keep them nice and clean! Good job! <laughs> Oh, look! Peppa, George and Rebecca Rabbit are feeding some of the animals at the petting farm. Cluck, cluck, cluck! What animal is Peppa feeding? 
yes, Pepper is feeding some chickens. Shall we see what happens next? Oh, look, Peppa, George and Rebecca Rabbit are washing their hands again. Can you remember why they are washing their hands? That's right, to keep them nice and clean. Great work. <laughs> you answered some great questions about that story. Can you remember them all? Let's try. Who is Pepper going on an adventure with? That's right, her family and Rebecca Rabbit. Where are Pepper, her family and Rebecca Rabbit going on an adventure? That's right again, the petting farm. Why are Pepper, George and Rebecca Rabbit washing their hands? Yes, to keep them nice and clean. What animals are Pepper, George and Rebecca Rabbit feeding? Good work, the chickens. Well done, you've just learned all about the story and answered some great questions. That's amazing! Learn with Peppa Pig, storytelling. Today we're going to learn about storytelling. Yippee! <laughs> Look, Daddy Pig is reading a bedtime story to Pepper and George. A story can be about lots of things. It might be about something real that has happened or something you've made up. A story has a beginning, a middle and an end. Someone can tell you a story or you can read a story yourself. Shall we tell our own story? Great, let's begin. Pepper and her friends are dressing up today. I wonder what story they will tell and how it begins. Shall we find out? I'm going to be a brave knight. Hooray! Now we can go on an adventure. <laughs> Let's pretend we have to rescue Teddy. Mm -hmm. Follow me. Pepper and her friends are going on a magical adventure to rescue Teddy from a big dinosaur. But first they have to get past the sleeping dragon. <sighs> Quietly now. That was close. Pepper and her friends have made it past the sleeping dragon. That was the beginning of the story. Shall we find out what happens next? Now we have to save Teddy from that big castle. Oh, look out, there's the dinosaur. Oh no, the dinosaur has Teddy. <laughs> this is the middle of the story. It's very exciting, isn't it? Shall we find out how the story ends? I can't wait. Can you? <laughs> Wowee! Pepper and her friends are using magic to save Teddy from the dinosaur. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hooray! Teddy has been rescued. Good work, everyone. This is the end of the story. What an exciting story that was. Can you remember what happened in Peppa's story? Shall we have another look? Peppa and her friends needed to save Teddy from a big dinosaur. In the beginning of the story, they had to get past the sleeping dragon. In the middle of the story, they found a big castle. At the end of the story, they used magic to save Teddy from the dinosaur. Well done. You just learned about storytelling and that a story has a beginning, a middle and an end. Why don't you have a go at telling your own story? Perhaps you'll tell a story about going into space, swimming in the sea, an adventure in the forest, having a party or playing football. Happy storytelling. <laughs>